Hi, I'm conservative Stuart Shepard, and this is Conservative Stoplight. You know, I'm a sucker for those fact-check articles, so I got pulled right into this one by the Associated Press. I'd hardly gotten started reading when I knew there'd be trouble. Take a look at this. In the opening lines, we learn it's a conservative film by a conservative scholar. According to the wild-eyed liberal mainstream media dictionary, conservative used this word to signal to the reader, caution, warning, dude, like seriously, look out. Oh, and it's got pictures of famous conservatives of the last 50 years. Darth Vader, Voldemort, Sarah Palin. Notably, the article never identifies anybody as liberal, progressive, even non-conservative, so I decided to look that one up too. Liberal, an unnecessary adjective. Use filmmaker or actress instead. Oh, and here's an example from an article about Occupy Wall Street. Filmmaker Michael Moore and actress Susan Sarandon have dropped in. Okay, back to the story. Here's the kind of fact-checking that the non-conservative AP writer makes. D'Souza rightly argues that the national debt has risen to $16 trillion under Obama, but he never mentions the explosion of debt that occurred under Obama's predecessor, Republican George W. Bush. But I actually saw the movie, and I remember this. What were annual deficits for Reagan and the Bushes have become monthly deficits under Obama. And this. We've gone from 5.6 trillion to over 15 trillion dollars. Maybe she was out refilling her popcorn when that part was on. Nah, the, the non-conservative AP fact-checking article is not really about fact-checking at all. It, it simply disagrees with the movie's concept, and that is properly called an opposing viewpoint. D'Souza rightly argues that the national debt has risen to... I can't read this without my glasses. <laughs> <laughs>